all right what's good youtube uh today's video it's another one of these new off gameplay type videos that i've really been enjoying doing and people in the comments on youtube have been enjoying it too so we're gonna get back to this type of content it's a quick little video it's nothing crazy but um it's you know since we got a lot of new players this year on xbox and, and just a lot of new players in general it's good to post these kind of videos and give my perspective as someone who's a content creator full-time grinder of this game and a top 50 players so you get all that perspective on new content and it kind of helps people realize you know what all this new content means what you should do what to look for in cards uh anyway the point of this video kitchen sink one pack has been dropped as well as set 13 headliners and we'll go over the cards in this pack i'll tell you what i think about these cards and which cards you guys should take a look at and why some cards are better than you think and why some aren't as good as you think they might be so uh let's get into it first off kitchen sink one pack adam dunn's 400 home run club card 84 70 contact 122 110 power those powers are unbelievable he's a first base primary most of his other cards are outfield primaries this one's a first base primary super fun left field right field secondaries uh not too slow either so when he's super fractured 60 speed not that bad he's really not that bad with a pretty good arm so uh cool card to use uh he's got some benefits to him um things to note Hall of Fame and below, this card could be really good if you love his swing. Could be a great pinch hit off the bench really at low difficulties other than Legend games. And underneath. And if you play Legend, if you play it, ship it. Other pucks that might be small. Or if you're just all about the meta, contact swinging is in. It allows your PCI to increase in size for the sacrifice of a little bit of exit velo. is really not that much sacrifice. It's very consistently good this year, more than it has been. I've tried it out myself, and other people agree with me. So... Uh, I used to not think this, but then I tried it out and now I changed my mind on it. So people who were right about it from the start, kudos to you. You guys were right. Contact swing is a little crazy. Um, that th You can get away with, with the sacrificing a little bit of exit velo with a car that's got 122 and 110 powers, especially if you play at small stadiums like Ship It or you play at Coors Field, stuff like that. Places a high elevation. Uh, so I recommend this card. Super fun to try it out. And I love the milestone card art. So huge fan of this. Uh, but moving on to the next card, Justin Verlander's postseason card. It's not bad. Um... I was ex expecting all these type of attributes, to be honest with you. The Velo's a little low, the 86. Yeah, I thought it would be a little bit higher, but it, it can still get up there. Breaks 94. It's a little bit lower than I thought, to be honest. The pitching clutch is what carries his cards overall in the stamina, I suppose. Things to note that are a little disappointing. Control, quite low other than every other pitch except for the four seam. He doesn't have a meta pitch. No sinker cutter. He could get a sinker. He's, he's had him on cards in the past, so that's a little unfortunate. And his pitch break. Um, 94 for the 12-6 curve is good. It's very good. 87 on the circle change, 84 on the fastball, which doesn't really matter. It's kind of like if it runs a little bit, and 89 on the slider, which isn't particularly great. And those stats don't go up with parallels. So um, a little disappointing in this card. You know, if you like Verlander, you're gonna, you are gonna can get some value out of him. I personally think there's better cards to use than this Verlander. So um, he's got one contact. That's cool. Uh, I, I, don't, I wouldn't pick it up. I wouldn't buy this card. That's just my thoughts. Harold Baines surprised me. If you like his swing, if you're a Harold Baines fan, White Sox fan, guy can hit um imagine those are plus fives i always say that 65 fielding can get at the silver and his primary and right a weak ish arm low reaction and a pretty low speed so what you get with this card is an offensive guy he's an offensive card if you go with his swing and you like this card you can get a lot out of him offensively uh bichette type defense a little bit better in some sense but a lot slower of a card so um to me I, if i were to use this card if you said you have to have his card in your team where are you going to put him bench but you wouldn't lose a lot on offense with this guy if his swing is good you know what not the worst card it's better than i thought it would be Rob Dibble, if you played last year, you know about this card. 95 prom, prime Rob Dibble. Those stats are great. 99 velo, outlier one on the fastball. 95 break. He's got that four seam at 99, the cutter at 92, and a slider to 83. Now, pinpoint makes this card even better. 95 control on the fastball, which is very good. 85 on the slider, which is pretty, pretty good. And 75 in the cutter, which is very doable in a pinpoint meta with a card like this. Break, Cutter's got 90, which is really important. The slider's got 95. So this car was very tricky. He throws 102 miles an hour max on his fastball because of the outlier. He's very good. I recommend everyone, if you can, get this card. He is definitely a bullpen option right now. He has to be in there. He is a top bullpen option. Nothing more to say about that guy. Very clear. Honus Wagner rookie card. If you like Wagner's swing and you're a huge fan, scoop him. If not, you're not going to get much. He's honestly a low defender too. 66 fielding, 96 speed. The hitting is lackluster. He can get to 60s power-wise. Contact isn't even that great. Personally, he's a center field primary, too, as a rookie. Uh, I, I would, you know, I wouldn't spend stubs on this card. Scoop him. If you, if you like Honus swing a lot, I wouldn't get this card. And I love Honus Wagner's swing. I'll be getting his 99 for sure. Silver Slugger Darno is Hercules versus right-handed hitters. 
and he's very weak versus lefties. Guys, if you like Darno Swing, scoop him. But honestly, in a lefty heavy meta, Al Leiter, Cliff Lee, Tom Glavin, Fernando Valenzuela, all these guys, it's not smart to have a Travis Darno on your uh, as behind the dish. It's not. If you want to win, those numbers aren't very good. Forget the low contact. He's got no pop either, man. Hercules versus righties, though. So if you want him on the bench, you're comfortable righty, righty. That's an option. 2020 Silver Slugger. That's all up to you guys. I would not be picking this card up. So Darren O'Day's prime card. This card's looking pretty good. Slider, four seam sinker, change up. Great hits through nine. Good K through nine. Great clutch. Good control. 92, 92, 94, 72 for his pitches, respectively. 98, 99 for the pitch break on the two mains. 83 on the single, which is pretty good. Change up's kind of weak, but whatever. That's a pitch he'll throw as a waste pitch most of the time. Things to know about this Darren O'Day card. On paper, everything is good. What is the problem with this card? He tips his pitches. He comes set, and on the way up, you can see his hand, and you can see what grip he's throwing on the pitch. That was on his live series card. I believe, unless they change for some reason this character, this uh, his model and his motions, or they just reworked this card, he's going to have that same problem. So um, check out if that's the case, guys. Pitch with him and, and look for it. If it's the case, I wouldn't use him. It, it, it's, I don't care how good a card is. If you know what's coming, it's going to really significantly cut your value in half. But if, if it's fixed, definitely pick this card up. I'm going to be trying him out. He's going to be super useful. I have Sergio Romo in the pen right now, who's essentially the same thing. I think Romo might be a little bit better because he's kind of weirder. But either way, you're going to get great value with this card if he doesn't tip his pitches. Bill Mazeroski gold glove card. Honestly, decent versus lefties. If you know, if you want some kind of bench, if you're, if you're no money spent, if you somehow get this guy, whatever. Um, flashy defense. Lower speed card, only plays second. I don't really see a value in this card picking him up unless you're a huge, like, Mazeroski Pirates fan or whatever it is. I don't know. There's always these cards in the game that Bill Mazeroski's no one ever wants, so weird. Rod, <laughs> Rod Carew card, great contacts. Defense is subpar. He's a first base primary, 77 speed. The low diamond Rod Carew is always rake con uh, contact-wise, but always have bad defense and subpar speed. So if you love Carew, if you love his swing, pick him up. If you like contact guy, all you. Particularly not a huge fan of this card. I don't really see much value in scooping him up, to be honest with you. 91 Rick Porcello. If you're a Sox fan, you can't see the card art. It's a Cy Young year. Uh, better hits through nine than I thought, if I'm being real. Better hits through nine than I thought. 76 velocity. Not that bad, honestly. 90 break. Controls are good. Very good. 97, 99, 87. 99, 89 for his controls on his pitches. Breaks. The only one that's decent is the four-seam fastball and the slider. Change-up's okay. Having the most break on your fastball out of all your pitches is kind of strange. I don't really see this card being a top five or maybe even a top ten starter, to be honest with you. But if you like Porcello, you can get you can definitely get away with using this guy. And uh, that's it for the, the kitchen sink pack ones. I've already scooped up Dibble and Pedro. Oh, spoilers. That is the headliner for set 13. Pedro Martinez is 94 overall all-star card. If you love his 42, I'm sorry they took away his sinker. But the good news is he's got a cutter on this card. What does that mean? It is a six series Pedro, which there should be. He will have a sinker to cutter, which will make him very good. Numbers are good. Stats are quite good. 86 velocity, which is a little lower than I thought it would be. Uh, I'll get up to 91. It's not bad. 97 break, so we can get up to 99. Uh, things to know about this card. Uh, control are all quite good, except for the curveball. Uh, circle change got a lot of control on that. And the break, very good on all of his pitches. Minimum 85 at curveball. So he's got a cutter. This could be a different Pedro to work with. I don't know how nasty his cutter is. Um, I'm gonna give him a shot. So check out the YouTube guys. You'll find this guy on the channel. Uh, I scooped up Pedro and Dibble. But uh, other than that, guys, that's really the only update today. Um, must haves Dibble for sure. Definitely give that Pedro a shot. Um, Darren O'Day, if he's fixed, definitely a card you want to pick up. And that Dunn looks really, really fun. So I'm gonna scoop the Dunn and use him as well in a video. Um, and that's all I got for you guys. That's all I got. So if, if you enjoy these type of videos, like the video, comment down below, and sub to the channel. And do not forget to put that bell on so you don't miss posts like these later on at night that are the noon gameplay videos. Enough talking. I'm going to dip. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.